Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use video actions to resize clips on your timeline. This is really helpful to know if you're doing interviews on live streams or podcasts, and you have a guest and you want to resize the windows. The first way to add video actions to resize the clips, drag the playhead to where you want the animation or the resizing to start. Then select the clip that you want to resize first. Then you're going to come up to the inspector panel. You want to be on the video property and click on the plus action button. When you click on that, you'll see it adds an action to the clip right before the playhead. Now we just need to resize this clip. So I'm just going to drag this clip. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to bring it down into the corner. I'm just going to click off. You'll see the action turn purple. And now let's resize the clip on the right. I'm going to select that clip. I'm going to come up to the video property and click on plus action. I'm just going to resize this. When you're done, just click off. You'll see the action turns purple. Drag the playhead back. Hit the space bar to preview. Perfect. If you want to slow down the actions, maybe the animation is moving a little too fast for you. All you have to do is just click on the actions and drag them out. The longer they are, the slower the action. So if I drag it back, you'll see it slowed it down. If you want to speed up the animation, just select the actions and drag them back and that will speed up the animation. When you want to go back to the original size, drag the playhead to where you want the resizing to start, select the clip, go up to the top, go to action, add snapback action, select video, and that's going to resize the clip back to the original. I'll do the exact same for the clip on the right. I selected it, clicked action, add snapback, video, and now we have the clip goes down to resize. And when it gets to this action, it's going to go back to the original. For this second method, we're going to add video actions. And then we're going to select style presets that we have prepared in advance. And if you need help with style presets, I will leave a link in the description on how to create style presets. Drag the playhead to where you want the animation or the resizing to start. Select the first clip that you want to resize. Go up to the video property and click on plus action. Then click on the cube for style presets and select a style preset that you want for this clip. I'm going to choose left big. Select the second clip. Go up to the video property and click on plus action. Click on the cube and choose the style preset for the second clip. Drag the playhead back. Press the spacebar to preview. Easy as that. And when you want to go back to the default, select the first clip, click on plus action, click on the cube, click on the default size that you've already saved as the style preset and do the exact same for the other clip. I'm going to select it, click on plus action, click on the cube, click on default right. And that is how to resize clips using video actions and style presets in ScreenFlow 10. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.